What's going on guys, Kyrie here. Today we're talking about a collaboration with uh, Legends of Neverland with uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. So I did see this anime when it originally came out. I did not keep up with the future seasons. Uh, I probably should have been told it's really good, but I just never got around to it. So this primarily came up because a couple of people on the uh, Southeast Asia uh, SEA servers saw this in their play store uh, they saw right here at the top the picture of the game was changed to the slime collaboration and the pictures were changed you got Diablo uh, the other ones right here even uh, right here uh, Ramaru seems to be uh, summoning wind or stopping wind fight side by side to deal with the crisis um, and we also see five skills here. So, it, and also uh, this swap icon is indicative of uh, SEA. Uh, in global, it's generally just the weapons icon. The five weapons is also in uh, sorry uh, S servers, which are generally the ones that don't get the uh, massive updates. All of these things were found on both N and S servers over on uh, Southeast Asia. And we're going to talk about each of the three fairies. We have Milium, Romaru, and Diablo. Uh, we also have Re uh, Renga, the mount, right here, as well as the Ogre Inheritance set, the male and female versions. Uh, just as a calling, I always like this hairstyle because it reminds me of Jin from uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, if you uh, remember that anime. It reminds me of that. But uh, this is going to be my first time reading all three. What I do know is that these two right here are both holy with uh, passive effects and Diablo is fire with no passive effect. Uh, the SEA servers were also updated with up to level six, holy, uh, sorry, up to level seven, holy echo, whereas global actually shows level eight, uh, because of what's coming down the pike. It is unclear if this collaboration is coming to global as well. So let's talk about Milium. Her passive, passive trigger when switching, uh, fairy or companion to... Uh, Milium through class switching, so only when you go to her, not from her. Immediately deal damage uh, to surrounding enemies within 10 meters. Uh, that's pretty decent range. Most dashes are 10 to 15. Increasing their uh, taken damage from flower fairies by 3% and reducing their movement speed by 15% once every 30 seconds uh, I assume this uh, sc scrolls down to scale uh, probably the uh, flower fairy taken damage is the one that scales here um, so okay uh, Draco Buster fires rays of blue white light dealing damage uh, to enemies in the area when the skill is released it locks onto the enemies okay unable to move for two seconds and provides a 10% attack bonus to the map that's huge that is massive so they can't move uh, a lot of moves require movement uh, Lancer uh, Swordsman and even some uh, what you call it uh, bow skills require movement to even cast them uh, so that's going to be interesting dealing damage and then 10% attack bonus is going to be huge for all the classes <laughs> uh, let's talk about Rimuru passive when any damage dealt by Rimuru hits an enemy there's a 3% chance that the enemy will get a random deep <laughs> oh god Either minus 5% attack, uh, minus 10% defense, that's huge. Uh, minus 10% crit, minus 10% block, minus 
20% uh, movement speed. Notice uh, effect added by the skill will be seen as a buff lasting for three seconds. So it'll show up on the bar. So what's interesting is it's only a 3% chance. I assume this, this is showing level eight. So this is already kind of a high level. Uh, what is interesting right here is that any damage dealt by her that will include their basic attack. And I'm not showing you their basic attacks because all their basic attacks are normal basic attacks. Nothing special added. And her active deals damage, uh, masters attack to the enemy in front. When the skill hits the enemy, it devours the target's buff for six seconds. Uh, it says buff, not buffs. S. For each buff, okay, so it's all buffs. For each buff devoured, master gets a non-repetitive random buff. Okay, so it's the exact uh, corruption and king. Glo they're the exact opposite. You debuff them and you buff yourself. And whatever buffs they have, uh, remember, Priest gives like three buffs at the same time. Attack buff, uh, crit buff, and uh, a shield. Unclear if it counts the shield as a buff for this effect. Uh, damage increase, crit damage, pierce rate, HP steal from da Wait. From damage. Okay. Okay. It's just regular HP steal rate. It's just worded differently. Damage received reduction, immunity to control. Wow. Um, so yeah, Romaru is looking really, really busted. Ridiculously so. Now our boy Diablo, small text, uh, no passive, uh, fire, expands the barrier to deal damage, master attack against enemies in the area, and silence them for three seconds. This is uh, sounding a lot like a Carmen copy of Rose, right? Almost exactly like Rose. Uh, at least they're different stats. He looks damn cool, but we have to say that freaking Romaru is in a different plane of existence here. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if in the anime uh, Romaru is also that busted in the uh, show. But this is what we see right now. Uh, once we have more information about the actual event uh, that's going on with rewards, logins, codes, things like that, I'll have them for you uh, as a separate video. But let me know what you guys think about the collaboration, if you want it to come to global or not. And until next time, guys.